Let's get real, unveiling the meaning of a popular English phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of a very common and interesting English phrase. Let's get real. This phrase is used frequently in everyday conversations, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's start our journey into this fascinating aspect of the English language. Let's get real, is a phrase that is used to urge someone to be honest or realistic about a situation. It's often employed when someone believes that the person they are speaking to is being unrealistic or not acknowledging the true nature of a situation. It's like saying, let's talk about this honestly and practically. The phrase, let's get real, has been a part of English colloquial speech for several decades. It likely originated from the idea of getting to the root or reality of a matter, stripping away any illusions or pretenses. There are variations like, getting real, or, be real, which carry a similar meaning but can be used in different contexts. 1. In a friendly advice, I know you want to quit your job and travel the world, but let's get real. How will you fund your travels? 2. In a business meeting, we've had some ambitious ideas, but let's get real about what's achievable within our budget. 3. In a personal relationship, you keep saying you'll change, but let's get real. You haven't made any effort so far. While it's a useful phrase, it's important to use, let's get real, in appropriate situations. It's best used in informal settings and with people you have a comfortable relationship with. Using it in a very formal or serious situation might come off as too casual or even disrespectful. That wraps up our exploration of the phrase, let's get real. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of what it means, how it's used, and the appropriate contexts for it. Remember, learning such phrases can greatly enhance your fluency and comfort in English. Until next time, keep practicing and let's get real about learning English.